In this video, we will see the various components of the BricsCAD application window. The color theme system variable sets the color theme of the BricsCAD interface. You can choose between dark or light color themes. To set the color theme, type color theme in the command line and choose one for light and zero for dark. Alternatively, you can also change the color theme by clicking on the interface settings on the right side of the access toolbar and you can choose between light or dark themes. Menu bar sits on the top of BricsCAD application window. By default, the menu bar is hidden. Right click on the toolbar and click on menu bar in the context sensitive menu or you can right click on the ribbon panel and click on menu bar in the menu. Click on the menu bar to toggle the display of menu bar. In the menu bar, you can see drop down menus and each menu consists of commands specific to BricsCAD. Display of menu bar can also be controlled using interface settings dialog box. You can see a toolbar on top. In BricsCAD, toolbars are arranged in collections of similar functions within a bar of tools. Each function is displayed with an icon and is categorized by topic. Toolbars are available for all command categories. By default, access toolbar is displayed on top. To open more toolbars, right click, choose toolbars, click on the topic you want. For example, click on arcs, the toolbar corresponding to the topic arcs will appear. In this toolbar, you can see various icons representing different methods to construct arcs. To change the size of toolbars, right click, choose toolbar size and click on a size. In the upper left corner of the interface, there is BricsCAD application button. When you click on this button, you will get options to create a new drawing file, open an existing drawing, save a file, import export files, print drawing files, and so on. The list of recently opened drawing files are also shown. Click on show start page to get the get started interface. You can get the same interface by pressing Control Home Keys. The ribbon is a set of tabbed toolbars filled with tool buttons and other graphical control elements grouped by functionality. The content of the ribbon depends on the current workspace. Right click on the ribbon or on the toolbar and you can change the workspace from drafting to modeling, BIM, mechanical, civil and complete. You can also customize the workspaces. When you click on modeling, for example, you will get a ribbon corresponding to modeling workspace. Click on interface settings and disable use new ribbon to get the old ribbon interface. Alternatively, you can give use new ribbon system variable to control this feature. Give the value 1 to get the new ribbon interface and give 0 to go back to the old ribbon interface. Use ribbon close command to close the ribbon and give ribbon command to get back the ribbon. Below the ribbon, there are document tabs. Click on the start tab to get the get started interface. Using this interface, you can open a new drawing or you can open any of the existing drawings. Using the document tabs, you can easily switch between drawings. Drag and drop the tabs to change the order of the drawings. 
click on the cross icon on the right side of the document tab to close the drawing. Right click on the document tab to get the context sensitive menu. Click on the plus icon at the end of the document tab to open a new drawing. When you start a drawing session, your initial work area is called model space where you create two dimensional and three dimensional entities. BricsCAD provides additional work area called paper space. In paper space, we can have different layouts where you can create and arrange various views of your drawings. In this drawing, there are three layouts, layout one, layout two, and layout three. By default, BricsCAD gives two layouts and you can have as many as 255 layouts based on your requirement. In BricsCAD, tool panels are displayed on both sides of the workspace. A tool panel consists of a number of panels. For example, in the tool panel on the right side, you can see properties panel, layers panel, attachment panel, and so on. Panels are interactive user interface elements that can remain open while you use other commands. To open a panel, hover the cursor on the toolbar or on the ribbon, then right click, choose panels. Panels that are currently open are ticked. Click on the panel in the menu to display it. For example, when you click on the Civil Explorer panel, that particular panel will get opened. Look from widget allows you to control the display of your drawing and it appears at the upper right corner of the drawing area. When you hover the cursor over the widget, a small green rectangle appears as does the preview of the chair. Clicking the cursor over one of the triangle shapes shows what the 3D view will look like. Clicking on this location in the look from widget will result in a top front left view. Clicking on this location will result in top front right view. The command line panel allows you to launch commands and modify system variables by typing the command or variable name. Command line displays the current command prompt. If a command is active, it displays prompts and options relevant to the current command. Right click menu offers relevant tools. When you choose auto complete, we get a number of options. If auto append is checked, the entry is automatically completed if only one possible command is left. If the suggestion list is checked, the list of possible commands is displayed when typing in the command bar. When we type DIN, for example, all the commands starting with DIN will be automatically displayed. If the display system variable is checked, the system variables are included in the suggestion list. If the display preference variables is checked, preference variables are also displayed in the suggestion list. The delay time option sets the time in seconds before automated keyboard features display. Cut, copy and paste can be used to cut, copy and paste command line text. Options displays settings dialog box using which we can control various parameters related with command line. Use the keyboard shortcut Shift F2 to close the command line and press Shift F2 again to bring it back. It's a toggle. The status bar sits along the bottom edge of the BricsCAD application window. It contains a lot of information about the settings in the current drawing. Click a field to toggle its display. Right click a field to display the options menu for that field. If you click the small down arrow button at the right end of the status bar, a list of all fields is displayed. You can tick and untick any desired field based on your requirement. You can reset BricsCAD user interface 
to defaults. Launch customize command. You will get the customized dialog box. Click on manage your customizations button and click on revert to defaults. Click on OK and OK. This completes the tutorial on exploring the BricsCAD user interface. Thanks for your time. Thank you.